Hi guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do give us a like, a share, a comment. All those things really help us out. Let's do a smoke rotisserie chicken. We're going to use this Weber American chicken uh, seasoning. So we do want to season the inside. Put a generous, a generous amount in there. And we're also going to spice that up with, with some Tony's. Uh, I like the more spice Tony's quite a bit because it's more spicier. Okay, so we're going to come under and make sure we got about the same amount. I'm going to make an X. I'm going to draw it down. And we're going to go under this guy, this leg forward, and under this leg and forward along the sides. We're going to tighten it up, nice and tight, and we're going to come right along the side and try to get it where the joint is, right there, come along the wings, bring it to the front, bring it to the front, and tie a knot. And then I want to make sure that the wing is at the, the elbow joint or just under, and this wing is the same way. And then I want to make sure that this is where this joint, where the leg meets the thigh. So I'm going to come up like that. There. And then we're going to take a skewer and come right underneath there. Push it in. Take our rod. Put it in the middle. We'll just come through the skin. And then we're going to do the other skewer, like this, and just come straight down like that, okay. I want to leave enough room for the thighs. In order to season this bird, we're going to spray it with duck fat. What? Duck fat? Yeah, I got this from Griddle Grates. Boy, you talk about adding some flavor. So I'm gonna spray some duck fat on this. Our beer can chicken seasoning on that side and our Tony's as well on the other side. A little duck fat. And um, some more of that beer can chicken seasoning and some Tony's. And let's season up our chicken thighs. And again, we're going to put some duck fat on them and put the seasoning on them. Some Tony's. And then we'll turn them over. More duck fat. And some more seasoning. Now these are bone-in thighs, which I, I like to eat them off the bone. I, I mean, boneless are okay for certain things, but to me, I like to eat a thigh right off the bone. There we go. Okay. Back over like that. All right. Now, to, now to put them on the grill, we're going to use this pan with a rack in it that's going to keep them off off the surface of this pan, so that the fat will drip down and sizzle up, but also so that that smoke will get under them. So let's strategically place these chicken thighs on our rack, like so. And that's it. So we have got a rotisserie chicken ready to go, and we got some chicken thighs ready to go. Gonna be smoked, gonna be good. Let's go do it. This is gonna be awesome. First thing let's do is let's get the rotisserie part going. So we're going to take our chicken. It's going to go over here. Let's put the rotisserie part together. I'm just going to put that right there. Get that started. Put that right there. That goes in there. That rests on there on both sides. I'm going to pull that back and tighten it down like so. And then our chicken 
is going to drip right there. So that's a pretty good spot. We'll just tighten that down. And then our chicken thighs are going to go over on the other side, right under here. Good in there. Hey, it fits. <laughs> Great. Okay. So let's get our grill turned on. Yeah. Those going like that. Now on this one, I can't do 100% indirect heat because of the fact that I'm cooking both the chicken and the thighs. So we're going to have to kind of watch our heat. We're going to do um, a low heat under all of it. So we got that going. Let's turn our rotisserie on. Helps if you plug it in first. Be right back. Okay, we plugged it in. All right, so now let's turn our rotisserie on. Yeah, we got rotation. We got heat, we got rotation. The last thing we need is some smoke. Let's get our smoking tube going. I filled this thing up to here. Now this is that one footer. Uh, last time I used it, that six inch smoking tube kind of ran out on me, so I'm not gonna let that happen here. Yeah. And these smoking tubes, they take a minute to get going. The boy, once they do, they just go for hours and hours and hours. Someday I'll buy a smoker. I don't want a real big one. Should I get a smoker or should I get a pellet grill? It helps. I got a little wind going. Help me get this thing lit. Find a big wind. All right, that's probably lit enough. And as long as that wind's blowing on it, it's gonna stay with a fire. Let me get it down inside of this grill here. And then we'll blow it out. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gonna smoke for a good long time. Now, I think because I've got a burner here that's not directly under this, I can turn this one all the way up or three quarters of the way up. And then I got a burner right here. I can turn it up. It means I can probably turn this one off and this one off and this one on low to get as much indirect heat as I can. I, I want to avoid having a burner directly under the the chicken because you know it will burn that that fat and really make it smoke and while that's a good flavor for that fat drippings to come up and vaporize and come back into your meat if it burns that's not such a good flavor so we'll uh, we'll give this some time uh oh I see a spot that missed a little seasoning can't have our wings and thighs with no flavor And chicken seasoning, Tony's seasoning. Come on, come on. And Tony's. Yeah. Now we're talking. Shut the lid and let the magic happen. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, it's been almost an hour, probably about 50 minutes. I think you can probably see that smoke rolling off of this thing. It's looking good. It is smoking like crazy. I love it. Uh, temperature is actually 375. Might be a little hotter than what I wanted, but okay. Um, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Let's check it. Let's see what we've got to this point. Okay, let that smoke clear. Yeah. Can you see what I see? Guys, that looks great. Holy cow. Man, and that smoking tube is just smoking like crazy. Let's check the temperature. But we gotta move this smoking tube out of the way in order to watch to smoke it, to check the temp. I just can't 
I'm not a smoke dumper, guys. I just can't deal with that. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna use my new griddle grate uh, thermometer here. This thing's really cool because you you can read the thermometer, the temperature, but if you hold the button in, the temperature flips on the other side. So let's take hold that right there. Let's check our temp in a breast. Okay. 110. A little ways to go yet. And then let's check one of these thighs. Uh, let's check this one. That says 186. Do I believe that? Let's check this one. That's saying 170, so you know, thighs are supposed to be 185 on the chicken. Uh, I don't think it'll hurt to let it go a little a little while longer, and this one certainly has some more to go. So let's turn the rotisserie back on, get our smoking tube back in position, and off we go. Cool. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Did you see the color on that? Do you want to see it again? Look, look at the color on that. Oh man, I just can't wait. Well guys, the total cook time on this has been about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 40 minutes. I did come out and I turned the burners off underneath the chicken thighs and I turned them up under the rotisserie chicken just to make sure that it got up to full temperature. Let's open the lid and see what we got. That looks good. Guys, wow. Um, okay, yeah, let's check some temps. Make sure it's done. Turn that off. Use our handy dandy uh, griddle grate thermometer, which I'm really liking a lot. Every time I use it, I'm liking it more and more. because I've got some of those really cheap uh, thermometers. I've got like four of them. I don't know how I got four of them, but I got four of them. There we go. Yeah, 190. The eyes are supposed to be 185, so that looks good. Let's check uh, one of the breasts. These guys, these guys, that's a thing of beauty. That is a thing of beauty. Our smoking tube gave out on us. That was just the right amount of the smoke. I filled it up to about here. Yeah, that's even hotter. That's probably quite a bit hotter than you want. If you want those at 170, but uh, I think it'll be fine. So everything's done. Let's. Uh, I'm going to take it off. Put it on a pan, bring it in the house to let it rest for a few minutes, and then we'll try it out and see if it's worth eating. See you a little bit. Doesn't that look good? It looks really, really good. Well, we got to try it, right? Okay. Let's take a look at, let's try one of the thighs first. We'll just do this one up front and just see how well that turned out. And, um, you know, everybody likes thighs, right? Oh, that skin is real nice. Goodness gracious, yeah, that skin's really nice. Let's try a piece of that. And some of the thigh meat right there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Nice and smoky. Yeah. How did the breast meat turn out? Let's just see. Oh, beautiful. Nice and juicy. Oh yeah, just falling apart. Not dry. We gotta try that. Look at that. Oh. Mmm. It was a lot of fun cooking on the good old gas grill with the good old rotisserie and the good old smoking tube. And it brought back a lot of memories. Before we had griddles, that's what we used to do, and it was a lot of fun, and it still is. I hope you go back and, and, and use your gas grill now and then. So, until next time, 
Thanks for watching. Stick around. Let's just see what's next with Dave. Thanks.